this is not a spring chick the bikinis are and yes you're looking at all these bikinis right here but actually you know see part of it is is we've been watching what's been going on with the president and all the presidential candidates and based on everything we're seeing it looks like well let's just say we thought it was going to be a shoe in for the republicans but it now looks like it's going to be a shoe in for president obama to be reelected if there's an election so one of the things we want to do is show you just how possible it is of course with bikinis oh yeah because i'm the bikinis are so we have 10 bikinis here that represents 100 percent yes and so, of course, each bikini has two pieces, right? One, two. So each one, each portion counts as 5%. So part of it is, is well, just like when they do polls, it's um, give or take, you know, a, a margin of error of 3%. Well, we're going to be rounding to the nearest portion of a bikini, or 5%. <laughs> yes, because we can't cut the bikini in half. That's right. So anyway, right now what we're looking at is, the president is the only one that looks like, well, he's the forerunner for the Democrats. He's the only one running. Right? <laughs> yeah. And the Republicans have an assortment of personalities, uh, which is, let's see, Perry. Uh, Romney. Romney. Uh, Gingrich. Bach is Gingrich in the mix? Gingrich is now the top of Herman Cain. Bachman. Herman Cain. Santorum. Uh, Ron Paul. Uh, Ron Palmer. Paul's not Republican, though. No, Ron Paul is a Republican, but he's going to go. He, he's Ron, not on the Republican ticket, though. Yes, he is. Who is he's he? Oh, that's right, a, he is. He's, he's running as a debate. Republican until uh -huh. he quits running as a Republican, and then he'll run as a Libertarian candidate against, um, what was the guy, Hunter, or the like Huntsman. He's going to run yes, against Huntsman. Huntsman. Okay, so part of it is usually you think of Democrats and Republicans, you kind of think of well, independence and all of those, you, they didn't really matter much into the mix. And actually, one of the things we're not really talking about right now is the Tea Party either. Yeah, yeah the, the, the Tea Party vote, well, okay, we're going to try, okay. The Tea Party vote will not support any of the current candidates running for the office of Republican, none of them. Mm -hmm. None of them. So, guess where the Tea Party vote's going to go? Well, see, part of it is what we've been looking at in polls is the president versus any unnamed Republican can't win. Would lose. However, with named Republicans, he can't lose. Okay. And they're being very generous to the fact that he can't lose. It's basically against any named Republican. It's a rout. So anyway, we're going to put these over here. So what are the actual figures right now? Okay, the if figures. If you look at how many are Democrats and how many are Republicans. Twenty-seven percent of the public is uh, left-wing Democrats. Okay, now we're talking the hard, the hard left. The hard right? left. Okay, so we're going to use five pieces: one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah, that's about twenty-five percent. Twenty-five percent. Because we can't make, we can't do a, we won't cut a swim. We're not going to cut it. Yeah. And twenty-five percent are uh, right-wing Republicans. Okay, so we're going to one, two, three, four, and then uh, we'll do the other half of this one. Yeah. Okay. So right now they're just about even. So these are Republicans and Democrats. Yeah. But see, what happens when they have an election uh, is, what happens to Republicans when they don't like the candidate? They don't vote. Yeah. And which is unlike the, okay, uh, we're going to put it this way. Um, what did they say? Uh, the 90% uh, uh, of the uh, black vote always goes for the Democrat. They said this time that 90% of the vote will only amount to about 10 to 15%, which basically amounts to one half of a swimsuit because they figure 5% of the voters that vote will be black and 100% of them will vote for Obama. So that, that goes to the... So we're doing 5% over here. That's right. Okay. And 30% uh, of the... 30% uh, uh, of... The uh, let's see, was it sixty percent of the of the Latino vote will vote for the Democrat, no matter what the others won't vote for Republicans. Period. Mm -hmm. So, and of that vote, three percent of those people will vote for the Democratic. Let's round it off to five percent. Okay, so we're going to round it off to five percent. And then we're going to try. Okay, Rep uh, mm -hmm. the uh, Tea Party will not vote for any of the candidates, and they amount to. Uh, five percent of the vote. Well, they're not voting for anybody. They're not voting so for anybody. But that you throw them out of the hundred. But see, so they're going to be thrown out. We're going to. They're going to throw them out entirely. Um, 
the the see the independent voters. Here's the Tea Party. Independent voters, which amount to about fifty percent of fifty percent of the vote, are are going to will not vote for either the Republican or the Democrat, but they will vote for Huntsman, and they'll vote. They said that uh, about. 10 to 15 percent of the 50 percent remaining will vote for Huntsman. So that's 15 percent okay, for so Huntsman. Huntsman. But that's but that remember of that comes out part of it comes out of the Dem of the Republican Party vote. Oh, so how much comes out of the Republicans? Uh, they said 12. They said roughly half of the Republican vote will not vote for any of the candidates that are currently nominated. So take okay. Five. So we've got one, two, three, three, four, five. Yeah. Well. So we just give we'll just take a, out two. We'll take out two. Of okay, uh, that right. vote, uh, five for half of that will go for Ron Paul. Which is over here. Over there. Oh wait, no, that was yeah, that was Ron Paul, huh? That, no, the one over there is the uh, independent. Oh, that's independent. Okay, independent. so this is gonna be. Okay. We're gonna have to make it. It's complicated, vote. isn't it? But I yeah. know. So here's a Ron Paul vote. He's five percent, uh, you know, of, of that, and. Um, he will get, they said, uh, he will get 100% of the Libertarian vote, which is 15% of the entire nation. So if we give him 5% from the Republicans and 5% uh, and from the Democrats and 5% from the other pile, Ron Paul ends up with about 15, 15 so to 20% total. So we're taking 5%? More you, from the Republicans. You're taking 5%. We've what? already got 5%. Oh, we already did that. 5% from, from the, from the Democrats. Democrats. And at 5% from the regular pile. From the regular pile. And this goes to... Ron Paul. Which, which puts Ron this, Paul uh, at about 15%. Which is Ron Paul. Okay. And then we also figure, they said, Huntsman will take 5% um, uh, of the de Republican vote and... 10% of the independent, 10 of the remaining vote of the independents, which puts him at 15% of the vote. So this is Huntsman. Huntsman. Okay, now I'm forgetting who those guys are. Uh, that was in. I think that was. I think that was the independent vote. Oh, so. okay. So this is the Huntsman. The Huntsman the would be the independent, the independent vote. See, so. even we're losing track. Okay. It, it almost a little. But part. anybody can see how this is going, <laughs> folks. Because uh, you see, here's the Republican vote. That's the Republican pile. vote. It's ten. It is ten to twelve percent of all the votes they have left as a Republican. How many? What's the percentage on the president's vote right now? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty percent. Thirty percent. He's got he. And what is the? Uh, okay. Republicans are at ten percent. Republicans can. Uh, the president is at thirty percent. And uh, they said, well, that makes you, a, that is a total minority because the others are about 15% of the vote each. Yeah, because this has, okay. yeah, I, I, although I think this one's 15 kind of 15 to 20, because we actually 15. can't split, so. Yeah. We split. They said it's somewhere between 15 and 20%. But so what happens is this was the leader because it has the most votes of all. He can't lose. Look at the bikinis out there. Look at the Republican bikinis. 10 to 12 percent of the vote is all they have left because the Republicans are ideologues. They're only going to nominate an ideologue, period. It won't be a conservative. He'll be, he won't be a fiscal conservative. He'll be a, a social conservative. Okay. And here's the Democrats. The Democrats. And you can't, and, and you, know, the, you cannot beat the President of the United States. Look at the piles. 10, 30, 15 to 20, 15. You get, here's, here's part of it is... If these hadn't have split off, yeah, the Republicans easily win. You, it, you but put, because they split the vote, you split the vote because they said Ron Paul thinks he's right, and Huntsman thinks they are right. So let's see. Now, if you took these, well, actually, you can, you can see if you added these three together, they would be bigger than this. They could. They beat Obama by about the margins that they say that he can be beat by the unnamed Republican. Mm -hmm. All of them say the unnamed Republican gets 40, around 45 percent of the vote. 10, 20, and 15. Mm -hmm. There's your fi nearly 50 percent. Oh, let's of the see. Vote. We went through the Latin. We went through the Latin, the black vote, the black vote. And, the, and the hard left. The hard left. The hard right. What about the gay vote? The gay vote doesn't statistically doesn't even come to it. We can't basically. We'd have to take a string off a swimsuit. Oh, okay. They're statistically unimportant, and yet. They're, they're catering to them, which is because they have money. 
But uh, like I said, it, we've tried to explain this in many terms. We're doing an hour-long piece, a special on it. But you, you look at that. I mean, part you of cannot it is win the bikini. bikini. What at all? 10, 10 to 12 percent is all the Republicans can muster. And that's because the vote splitting. The vote split it. Ron Paul thinks he's right. Huntsman think Huntsman is a, a libertarian, but the libertarians are going to go to Ron Paul, so Huntsman will go to the independents and take all the independent votes away from the Republicans that they would get. So if you're wondering why the president is swinging left and doesn't seem to care about the other portion? Because he has to have the base. He, he, he keeps 20% yeah. of the base no matter what. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's that 20% basically do? It beats the Republican right off the bat, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And when you add the black vote and the Latino vote to it, he's undefeatable. Well, and see, here's part of it is, is because of the Republicans, if they don't like the candidate, they won't vote. No. The they, Democrats, if they don't like the candidate, Okay. but if they will vote against the other candidate, regardless if they like the candidate or not, they will vote because he's a Democrat. That's how you know. You have 20%, you have a 20% vote for the president from the left, no matter what. Because they'll historically, they historically will vote against the other candidate, even if they totally hate their candidate. That's right, because they don't want the other guy in the office. Remember, John McCain would have won the election against Obama if the right would have came out and voted for him. See, they felt that they were better off with the president than they with with Obama than they were with John McCain. Well, see, here's part of it is, is regardless of which party you're with, if you don't vote, you don't count. That's right. Right? And the same thing with the candidates. They may cater to all these. I was talking to some, um, a PR person yeah. with, with somebody that's running for mayor. I said, well, you know, that's all fine and dandy. I says, but if their constituents and their base don't come out and vote, it doesn't make any difference. And, and remember, you out of... You sitting out on of, your hands because you don't like the other candidates. I think out of 180 million people that can vote, they don't expect more than 60 to 70 million to vote. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to figure out statistically, okay, the, the problem is we're way over, the, we're trying to do swimsuits not to get over the head of the people that went to school and... Well, it could like put names on it. Yeah. It could like drop down. But all you got to do is just look, the big pile is this the is president's the... pile, no matter what. The big pile, that's the people, that pile will vote for the president no matter what. You would have to have, uh, the only way the Republican, okay, the Libertarians can't win without Republican support. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the independents cannot win without Republican support. The Republicans cannot win without independents, libertarians, and Republican support because they will not get And since support. all of them have their own candidates. There's no way that the President of the United States can be beat in the next election. The swimsuits do not lie. It's an impossibility to lie. Mm -hmm. so. See, you see it right there. It's all in the suits. So come out and vote and make a difference. Yeah, oh, and then there is, before we finish, there is one other thing that you have to think oh, of. Oh, what's that? Is that if the Democrats are unhappy enough against the president, they do make a, a challenge against him. Excuse the figure. Excuse oh, the. What yeah. happens is it takes, it splits his vote. That's true. It <laughs> totally splits his vote because uh, they, uh, what will happen is <laughs> the, if they think that the de left is not like Obama, the black Americans do not like Obama, and the Latinos do not like Obama. So therefore, see that pile that sits behind everything, which amounts to what percent? One, two, oh, 20 percent. And uh, uh, that could it, be enough to swing a vote. It's enough to swing a vote. It's enough to make it is no, it's enough to make the unnamed Democratic candidate the next president. Well, see, part of it is because they have the primaries, the Democrats versus the Republic. You know, it's a Democratic ticket, the Republican ticket is if they don't, like you said if they don't like Obama enough they know, can write in most okay maybe Hillary a lot of the democratic primaries okay uh, what happens is a, a, a lot of the Republican primaries in this country allow you to switch allegiances on a vote so what happens is Republicans can simply switch over to the democratic side and nominate Hillary for the President. But it also depends on when they do it. If you do it in a primary, you can change your candidate. That's if you right. Do it in, you screw things up. Yeah. But they, they, what they want to do is they said that Hillary, okay, does anyone think that Bill Clinton is not going to places that Obama's going to first because he's, Hillary's not running? She's running. 
but it's going to be one of these things that if nominated at the convention, I will run. And the Democrats, unlike the Republicans, are not committed to a first ballot vote. Democrat, the Democrats have a super committee, and a super committee controls like one third, super delegates control one third of the vote, and they are not committed to the candidate, which means one third of them already are very hostile towards this president, and they could, it's, it's like I said, it is the back pile that basically controls the Democratic presidency. The other part is, is if you go back and look at history, so and you're thinking, no, it's either the Democrat or the Republican. No, they can make a change because one of the things historically, if you go back and look at JFK. Yeah, JFK was the dark horse candidate at the election. What happened was uh, they said Lyndon Johnson, they had Lyndon Johnson, Adlai Stevens, and Eskis Kefauver, I think, were all running for the presidency, and nobody liked any of them. Mm -hmm. So they, they brought out John Kennedy and told him, well, we know that you cannot win against Richard Nixon, but if you go out and basically run the flag up for the party, you, you will get the nomination the next time and you'll be president. So that's what he did. Unfortunately, it's like Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton was not supposed to beat George Bush because everybody but the press was telling you the recession was over. Mm -hmm. And we were in a boom. Uh, what happened was Bill Clinton inherited a booming economy, not an economy going backwards. It was a, Lucky there, for him. There, there was a short recession and that's all it was. It, it was they were, we were 16 months out of the recession when Clinton won the presidency. Mm -hmm. So that's what happens. They take advantage of things. And, so, and, then, and here's another problem too. Say we, 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 we say that's 100% of the press right there. 100% of the press? 100% of the press is behind Barack Obama and not the Republican candidates. Yeah. Because the Demo Rep uh, Fox News is so in the, in the Obama camp, it's unreal. So it is, it is mathematically impossible for any of the candidates up there to win except for the dark horse candidate in the Democratic Party. The dark horse mm -hmm. will, if, the, if there's a dark horse candidate, that candidate, it, okay, here works. A dark horse in either party will be the next president. Mm -hmm. That's how it's going to sure work. Sure makes it interesting, doesn't That's it? That's right. Oh, politics and bikinis.